Hey guys, welcome to my Venus Do Sign series. This is for Venus and Gemini. So if in your birth chart, Venus is in a sign of Gemini, these messages are for you. Um, or this can also apply if you have Gemini as your seventh house. And just not to have any confusion, this is not for transiting Venus. This is for where Venus was at when you were born in your birth chart. So let's go ahead and begin. And this is for uh, the month of February 2020. I want to thank you guys for liking, sharing, and subscribing to my channel. I ask that you all please continue to do so. Remember, these are general, so they may or may not resonate, but hopefully they give you some clarity. Um, and yeah, let's go ahead and begin here. So we have central issue, heart of the matter as the queen of cups. We have the ten of pentacles. We have the Six of Cups, we have Strength, Two of Swords, Four of Cups, Ace of Swords, and the Hierophant. So you guys look as if you're dealing with commitment as well. I think this came up in the Venus and uh, Taurus video. It looks like there's definitely marriage and commitment on the mind. You guys might be picking out a home. You guys might be talking about um, moving in together. Like something is being made official. Um, I I feel like someone has found their soulmate. And I also feel like something runs in the family. Something is generational. Someone may be inheriting um, a home or maybe it's just something runs in a family. I almost want to say like it runs in a family. We always marry water signs or something like that. Um, so you also could be a Cancer with Venus in Gemini. Or you could be dealing with a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Leo, or Taurus. Um... Excuse me. Now, I also see, I also see from the point of view of someone who is an outsider, someone who wants someone who's already claimed or taken for. So, I almost feel like there is a situation where someone is watching someone else's life, maybe on social media, um, or it's just like, man, I want that life that they have. Now, if it isn't like a situation where you are wanting someone, someone who's already in a relationship, then you're just looking at someone who has like this perfect relationship and it's just like they have everything. Uh, I wish I could have that or I wish I was a part of that. So I feel like there's um, some sort of relationship where it looks like two soulmates are perfect in love and they found their, they found each other and now they're doing all these things that you said you wanted to do. And the only reason why I feel like there's a possibility that this could be a situation where you are wanting someone who's unavailable is because they might be resistant towards you or the story could go the other way around like you're already settled down in a relationship but there's a water sign that's wanting to be with you but you're having to hold off on temptation or you know kind of push them away like no like yes I feel like we're soulmates but you know I'm in this relationship and I'm obligated to this person and you know we've already invested so much into this relationship so maybe you are like, no, I have to leave this person alone. I'm going to ignore their calls. And you might be getting offers from other people, but it's just not hitting you or piquing your interest the way this person does who is off the market. Now, what I'm also getting is a situation where someone is observing you or admiring you but they haven't said anything. And it looks like they've had an opportunity to say something, but they just won't. And then it's, even when they have the chance to say something, they don't. 
And I feel like this may be someone that you work at a company with or you used to work at the same company with. Someone also thinks about you, but they don't say it. They're like, I can't express that. But they're going to reach out to you. And that will be some sort of confirmation that they were thinking about you, too. Some of you may be wondering if someone is still thinking about you or if someone still cares about you. And I do feel like you're going to get that confirmation. Now, also, because I know Merc Mercury Retrograde is um, on a horizon here, Six of Cups is out. So some of you definitely could be hearing from past people. Hmm. I feel I just kind of feel that there is someone that you're meant to settle down with. This part person, it, like, I don't know, it's like you guys may even have a similar background or similar. I want to say similar names. It doesn't mean that you have to be re related, but I almost want to say like your last name could be the same. Some of you may be sad about the fact that someone's moving away or you and your partner are moving away and you're happy, but at the same time it's sad. I'm seeing the need to establish a new foundation. Mm, yeah, some of you are getting ready to start new chapters in your lives. Now... I am also getting a story of someone who, someone moved on with someone from their past. You've been single, but you've been thinking about this person. I feel like some of you are moving on. Some of you are having to move on from somebody from the past and maybe because they have moved on. You're like, I guess I have to let it go. Um, Maybe the timing was off, but I'm going to find my soulmate. There's someone that's going to come into your life that's going to give you a lot of rec recognition. You guys, I feel like you have met your soulmate. Some of you guys have met your soulmate. This is something that may start off as um, a business transaction or you guys are co-workers or something. Someone may pay money for your services, especially if you're some sort of independent uh, contractor, or you're an entrepreneur or something, or maybe some, like I said, it just seems like it starts off business related. Business partners are soulmates is what I'm starting to get. Business partners are soulmates. You might try to ignore it at first or deny it, but then it becomes very apparent that it's meant for you guys to be more than just co-workers or business partners. Um, I feel like someone is going to release a lot of what they're feeling. Um, I also feel like maybe someone is finding a creative way to express their feelings for you. There's definitely some sort of traveling or trip coming up. So if you're single, you could meet someone on a business trip um, or you could meet someone while you're traveling, going on vacation. If you are starting a new job, I feel like a new love interest is there waiting for you. If you are relocating, I feel like the minute you relocate and settle down, that that is where you're going to meet this new person. Some of you started to feel kind of resistant towards love or you were like, it's not happening for me. And then it happens. You didn't like, I felt like you started to become pessimistic because you just didn't like the way things were playing out. You didn't like the way that people were moving on without you. You felt like every everyone is finding somebody except for you. 
Um, and then it happens to you. Yeah, so for some of you, your days of being single are numbered. You're, it's like you're not going to be single for long. There's getting ready to be some sort of changes in your life. And also, once you go through some sort of drastic change, I feel like that is when love is coming in. So I feel like this drastic change has to come through first. And all of a sudden, there is all this love. It is is like there's this new beginning. There's going to be a renewal. Some of you are also having to let go of some sort of old belief systems that you could have been holding on to. That could be something that had been keeping you stuck or trapped in your own prison. Yeah, some of you have been stuck in your own prison. Emotionally, mentally. And I feel like you're going to be released from that. Um, now for some of you, I don't know what this is about the relationship. It, I'm not really getting a breakup or it, although there could be, there very well could be some sort of breakup for some of you. Um, I think as a couple, your lives are just changing. Like I said, it looks like maybe you guys are, uh, uprooting, you're relocating, now, I also feel that some sort of seeds have been planted and you're waiting for something to manifest. I feel like you're starting some sort of new life and you're like, I'm, I'm planting new seeds here. This is going to be my new life and um, I'm letting go of that old life, that past life. Yeah. So you guys are um, like manifesting new lives or something. You're so over uh, the past and... and the ghost that haunted you there. Yeah. Hmm. You also could be dealing with um, Capricorn. Yeah. Also could be dealing with Capricorn. Or so when it has like Capricorn in a chart. You guys come off as being very shy or defensive or just very slow to love. Or I feel like maybe you give people a hard time to get to know you. And it's possible that maybe you're just trying to see if you could trust this person. It's, it's like it's taking you a very long time to trust any type of love interest. Or this is their view towards you. It's like, man, are they ever going to let their guards down? Do, do they have a heart in there? <laughs> yeah, I almost feel like someone is asking, do you have a heart? They're like, man, are you alive? <laughs> so you may have been coming off as very dead inside, but it looks like you are um, coming back to life. You're, you're definitely going to push yourself out of your comfort zone. And also, if someone new is coming into your life, you're going to be questioning, is it worth it? You're, ta you're um, taking some sort of a logical approach because even though someone activates or awakens your heart chakra, you are going to want to slow it down. It's like, let me hide this. I cannot let anyone know that I'm deeply emotionally attached to this person. So <laughs> let me put on my armor and my shield and just kind of analyze this person and take it slow. So I feel like maybe you're trying to fall in love um, with practicality or before you allow your heart to take over. All right, so those are the messages that I have for you guys. I hope it makes sense. Feel free to leave your comments. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Many blessings to you.